The University of San Francisco College basketball team traveled to China in 1989 for a highly publicized exhibition game. Tensions escalate up until the final buzzer. And that is the basic storyline for The Great Leap, a play which starts its run Saturday at the Lesher Center for the Arts in Walnut Creek. Joining us live to talk about it is Cal grad James Aaron O, oh, who stars in the production as Manford. James, good morning. Great to see you. Good morning, Reggie. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I actually had the chance to see The Great Leap at ACT, what, in 2019? when I think the debut of that show. So I'm familiar with it, but you know, it's been a few years. We went through a pandemic in between then and now, so memories are fuzzy. But what I remember mm -hmm. is that this basically starts with your character pitching himself to be on a basketball team when he doesn't have uh, much of a resume to do so. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a 17 year old kid who just busts straight into practice and says, hey, I wanna join the team to go to China. What's cool about this show is that there's lots of, I mean, it's sort of loosely based on real people and real events, and there's lots of references to the Bay Area, including you know, the fact that the writer of the play, uh, I think she based a lot of this on her dad, right? Yes, yes, writer Lauren Yee, uh, her, it's based a lot on her father, um, who has been known to uh, go out onto the court uh, in San Francisco Chinatown, give a few pointers to those who are playing. Um, yeah, it's a lot of her writing is very much inspired by her family, her father, and uh, her community. And there's a big plot twist in the story, which of course I am not going to reveal. Dun, dun. But a lot of it has to do with, you know, U.S.-China relations, which is really interesting mm -hmm. because today we happen to be talking about the possible dismantling of TikTok here in this country, which you know mm -hmm. goes right back to these issues, which of course started long ago. But that's kind of the basis of this play. So what is the message as far as, you, as you're concerned? I would say the message is, th there are quite a few messages going on, but one of the big ones is it's about telling a story about those that are forgotten, those that who, those who stood still in the wash of history as time moves on, they are forgotten. But in this story, it gives them the opportunity for their story to be told. Yeah, and I mean, I realize now that I am such a dinosaur that like Tiananmen Square was something that was very relevant to me as a young person growing up. I mean, that was happening in real time as I was in school. Mm -hmm. But now when people look back at that, which is what this play does, um, I'm sure some of some of the young kids see this as, you know, brand new information to them. Exactly, exactly. Like a lot of these tragic events happen and then they are uh, accounted for for quite some time through different media and news outlets. But then as time moves on, it is unfortunately forgotten. I know for me, it was a new thing to learn about, even if it is part of my history but it is an opportunity to come see this show and learn about a history that you may not have learned, may have been forgotten, or may have been purposely covered up. Ah, dun dun. Uh, <laughs> we mentioned earlier that you're a Cal grad. So did you, were you like heavily involved in theater during your schooling? Um, for me being a Cal grad, yes, I, I did get a major in theater and performance arts. Um, I actually transferred in, so I was just a quick two years in and two years out. Um, but yeah, no, the, the performance has, it started in high school and was encouraged through college and it brought me to where I am now. Awesome. Well, we wish you uh, the best of luck, break legs in the Great Leap, but of course not literally as you leap. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you have a great run. If people want to check you out in the Great Leap, you can go to lesherartcenter.org. Pleasure meeting you. A pleasure, Reggie. Thank you so much.